Domesticated chickens are the most numerous birds in the world. Bet you didn't know that. And interestingly, the United States is the largest poultry producing country in the world. Today, the number of backyard chicken keepers is growing. They raise birds in their backyards, in inner cities, on balconies and rooftops. An estimated three to six percent of Americans have them. Anyone who raises or handles poultry, whether at a commercial farm or in the backyard, should be aware of the need to practice good biosecurity. Certain poultry diseases, like avian influenza, can harm agriculture, reduce or stop trade, and impact entire communities if they are found in the U.S. Biosecurity means doing everything you can do to keep diseases from entering your flock or spreading to other flocks. Biosecurity is an important step to protect the health of poultry. Recently, this year, we learned in the highly pathogenic avian influenza outbreak that this disease is, is very costly. We spent close to $200 million alone on indemnity to reimburse the owners of the birds for the birds that we had to euthanize as a result of this disease. We spent close to $600 million simply cleaning and disinfecting the premises where the disease had occurred. That's, that's very costly. That's a lot of money for the taxpayers to bear. It's cheaper to prevent the disease than it is to fight the disease once the, we have the outbreak. Avian influenza can affect all different types of bird species, um, not just chickens, but also turkeys, quail, pheasants, guineas, um, basically anything that can fly. Even falcons and eagles are, are affected also. Usually the waterfowl or ducks and geese, they're the natural carriers of the virus and they don't get sick from the disease. They're, they fly around, they're perfectly healthy, and they spread the disease to the other types of birds. So a lot of people don't know when they go to their local park or just walk outside, normally you can accidentally inadvertently step in wild bird feces and have it on your shoes. And those people, you know, if you have backyard poultry at home, you could bring it into your poultry house and infect your, your chickens and they might die. And the disease is so infectious that just one gram of feces that can cover the head of a dime is enough to infect one million chickens. So it's that contagious and that serious. Hi, I'm Dr. Kate Bowers. I'm a veterinarian with the USDA. And this is our Healthy Bird spokesperson, Healthy Harry. Hi everyone, glad to see you. Today, we like to talk about cleanliness and how important it is when you keep birds. Our best advice is, don't bring it in, don't take it out. Harry, tell me what that means. Sure thing. It means you need to clean your hands before and after handling birds. That's right. And if a friend wants to see your birds, what should you do? Same thing. Make them clean their shoes in a disinfected foot bath. Right again, just like the one we have here. And if you want to see their birds? That's easy. Just do the same thing before you walk in and when you leave. You need to clean everything that comes in contact with your birds or their droppings. And that means tools, tires, shoes, cages, anything that can transport disease. When you don't do this, that's how disease spreads. Yuck! Over the last three decades, improved agricultural technology, farm efficiency, and practices have greatly benefited Americans. 
The cost of food is lowest in the United States as compared to the rest of the world. Historically, the United States is very good at preventing diseases, one of the reasons our food is so cost efficient. Good biosecurity practices are key to preventing diseases, whether you have a few backyard chickens or a large farm. So if you have chickens or birds, don't be shy. Learn and practice good biosecurity. It's win-win for all of us.